Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Wednesday, February 18th, and I'm Dane Hernandez. And I am Alejandra Aragin. On today's show, a Tarleton professor receives a high honor. We'll take a look at what New York City is doing for Valentine's Day. These stories plus more coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news, another Tarleton professor is set to receive high honors. Associate Professor Dr. Kathy Horrock-Smith is the newest member of the Publications Committee of the Research Council on Mathematics Learning. In her over 22 years of experience as a math educator, Smith has co-authorized learning modules for the Texas Ag Education Agency, as well as co-authored peer-reviewed publications. Smith is a two-time graduate of the Purple and White, receiving her bachelor's and master's degree from Tarleton in 1984 and 1990. Smith will serve on the committee until 2020. In local news, Civil Police Department Chief Jason King has informed Civil City Council in a memo that their department is applying for a justice assistance grant from the governor's office. The grant will allow Civil PD to have access to state-of-the-art forensic and accident laser reconstruction technology. King explained that the technology will consist of a 360-degree laser scanner, bipod, laptop software, and evidence storage. King also said the project's primary goal is to better serve and protect our citizens by improving investigations, solving crimes, and prosecuting criminals. He also added that the Civil Police Department hopes to accomplish this by heightening the efficiency and effectiveness of a crime scene investigation and crash reconstruction. Their funds request totals to up to over $79,000. In state news, the Big 12 Board of Directors announced this morning that they will withhold 25% of Baylor's revenue from conference pending the event review into structural changes as a result of the sexual assault scandal. The money will be placed in escrow and eventually return to Baylor pending the results of the review. The school's new leadership has made sweeping changes in the reporting and Title IX office. But recent lawsuits against the school has brought details of the school's athletic culture into public review. In national news, Valentine's Day is just around the corner while you may be thinking of getting your sweetie something this holiday season. This is what New York City is doing over their immigration-themed heart-shaped artwork. This uh, Valentine's heart is a way of representing the different immigrant populations in New York City. So each poll has on it literally a representation of the numbers of people from different countries around the world. We submitted our proposal for the piece that we're standing next to you a few days after Donald Trump was elected president. There's no doubt that this piece was conceived as a reaction to that moment, a way for all of us at the Office for Creative Research to voice our alarm at the kinds of things we'd heard during the election. Border walls, Muslim registries, racist epithets shouted at rallies, actual real-life Nazis. Since November, that alarm has gotten louder every day. Campaign promises have turned into effective, into executive orders, into immigration bans, into broken families, into five-year-olds in handcuffs. In international news, Japan is charting its own course to deal with the radically different U.S. president, an approach that will be tested at the end of this week when Prime Minister Shizno Abe meets Donald Trump in the White House and on the golf course in Florida. Some other leaders of America's closest neighbors and allies, from Mexico to the United Kingdom, have been singed by their encounters with Trump. Japanese officials are optimistic the invitation to visit Trump's Winter White House, an exclusive club he owns in Palm Beach, signals a more positive outcome. For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. A federal appeals court could rule this week on President Trump's executive order to ban travel to the U.S. from seven predominantly Muslim nations. The states that filed suit claim the ban is unconstitutional. Federal attorneys say it's necessary to keep the country safe. The U.S. Senate rebuked Massachusetts Democrat Elizabeth Warren. Senator Warren read to the Senate a letter written by Coretta Scott King claiming Senator Jeff Sessions had deliberately tried to restrict the voting rights of black people in the 1980s. Sessions is President Trump's pick for attorney general. Officials say the tornadoes that struck parts of southeastern Louisiana hit seven parishes, destroying homes, businesses, and vehicles. About 40 people were hurt. And Seattle City Council has voted to cut ties with Wells Fargo. It's in response to the banking giant's role as a lender to the Dakota Access oil pipeline. Sandy Kozell, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. In sports, football concluded this weekend with what some are saying is the greatest Super Bowl ever. 
All eyes are on basketball season now. The Warriors take on the Thunder this weekend in Kevin Durant's first game back in Oklahoma City at 7.30. Now, Danny, I don't know much about basketball, but what team are you picking this season? Well, I'm a DFW sports fan, so I'm going for my Mavs. Well, good luck to the Mavs and everyone else. Thank you. In campus sports, Talton and Angelo State basketball rivalry is renewed this Saturday at the women, as the women play at 2 and the men play at 4. These are, these are games you don't want to miss. Both will be broadcast on ESPN. So come out and support your Texans and Texans. The Texans and Texans will also be playing night, uh, Thursday night, both against Texas A&M Kingsville. For today's weather report, we send it out to Sydney Burns. Thanks, guys. As you can see from behind me, today is going to be yet another beautiful and sunny day here in Stephenville. It is currently 64 degrees, but temperatures are expected to rise to the mid to low 70s by this afternoon. Tonight, however, temperatures will drop off to the mid to low 30s, so make sure to bring a jacket if you're going out. Today's weather report is brought to you by weather.com. Anchors, back to you. Thanks, Sydney. This has been a production of a Texan TV news, as of Texan TV news, a product of the Texan News Service from the Charleston State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12:30 weekdays. If you live on campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Rebecca Hernandez, Ariel Steele, Latricia Powell, and Marquise Daughtery. Have a wonderful day, Texans.